Okay, this is N2LEN. I'm gonna go out of the radio room. Let's go into the workbench. Right now, I, um, for those of you that are following the uh, Tram D201A restoration, I'm waiting uh, for some parts that are on order in transit. So I, I have also waiting in line on the bench uh, a Yesu FT1000D had some receiver problems. And uh, what I did was I I picked up a, pu a bunch of used, good used um, replacement boards um, from eBay, from uh, Ham Guy, Adam Farber. Been dealing with Adam for many years and I completely recommend him for many parts. You could find him on eBay. Fantastic guy to deal with. And I picked up the uh, control unit the antenna RF protector unit, which has the SO239 on the back. I already swapped that out. Um, the RF unit, I have the uh, diagram. And right now, what I did was a uh, quick disassembly because I ordered the antenna tuner unit. And I purchased that also from Adam, uh, from Ham Guy, and he had requested some information about the actual antenna tuna control board um, making sure these two connectors is a four pin and a five pin signal connectors I guess they had different revisions but anyway uh, to take apart the unit to get down to the antenna tuna unit I figured I just this is just a video to show what how to access it you basically pull the top cover off you do not have to remove the bezel bring down the front panel um, uh, and basically uh, you you know you remove the the TCX01 usually sits right right around here and then you have the ALC unit um, and the speaker is right here it, it, it's basically mounted on this plate uh, each of the units the uh, the TCX01 and the ALC unit each have four screws and as you could see that they they just sit here's where the TCXO sits here's the ALC unit the board and then the speaker speaker has also um, four screws um, one thing I will mention is uh, when you unplug uh, these small mini din cables and as you can see I haven't cut any any of these wire ties this is for the uh, the ALC unit you can see actually how the way it sits right in but these connectors if, do not pull them out of the connectors the sockets because there is a small little indentation here and if you pull and you tug you could break the wires right out of the back of the connectors and and you're gonna be really um, it's gonna be a difficult repair the way to do that it's very simple. Um, you just follow, you do every connector the same way. And what I do is I just take a jeweler's screwdriver, flat blade. You stick it on the top of the connector and you just gently slide this in on the top. And what it'll do is it'll bend this portion of the plastic upwards and it'll free the little indentation plastic indent stopper and it'll the connector will slide right out so you can see you just want to lift this area up and the connector will freely slide out cleanly you'll never have to worry about you know literally breaking uh, a, a wire same thing with the um, the TCXO cable you just basically slip the the little screwdriver right there on the bottom there and then it'll the connector will just come out and basically almost all of the 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 DIN cables and connectors are all the same way and they just they, they'll just come out so basically um, the TCX01 came out the ALC board sitting in the middle covering uh, there's a plate over here you have the 
low pass filter unit and there's a bunch of connectors for the low pass filter unit just the same thing there are signal cables more of these little DIN plugs same way you release them um, you have uh, snap-on RCA type cables this these cables actually pigtail and run to the the uh, antenna tuner unit and they plug into the top of the uh, right over here on the LPF unit and you have another signal cable that feeds in the back which is this this blue cable and then there's one on the side here but um, <clears throat> let's see the L oh, the Lopez filter unit is one of the weak points of the radio there are four diodes on this particular unit that always seem to fail and uh, sometimes uh, you know you could replace them with instead of four diodes you literally put eight diodes and you pair them up the original diodes let me see if I could actually z zoom in on the location I might have to pick this up so you can actually see them there they are you can clearly see them right there um, the original diodes are called for a 1 SS 101 1 Sierra Sierra 101 those particular diodes are no longer available the cross references is the NTE 583 and looking at those online on eBay they sell for about 10 bucks a piece you only really need four of them but um, they're expensive another um, cross-reference is a 1N5711 1N5711 and I ended up finding 25 of them uh, in one package for less than 10 bucks and I'm gonna be replacing those four diodes I believe it's a a shot key 70 volt 15 milliamp diode um, it has the exact the 1N 5711 the NTE 583 have the same exact specifications as the 1SS 101 which you just can't get but anyway so that's the low pass filter unit and um, when you let me show you the antenna tuning unit actually this this board right here screws to the back of the, the, the top plate but and here is the antenna tuning unit this literally lifts right up and this board lifts up and then there are screws and this whole unit literally removes out in one large piece and that's basically it so there's the top cover to the LPF unit with a ground spade that comes right over here to this ground screw I actually put the screw back in you can see that there's a, a grounding terminal block and that's basically it okay so uh, there'll be some other videos as I go along with the repair with that I'm gonna say this is N2LEN wishing you best 7-3 with the FT-101